There we go. All right. All right. Sorry about that hellacious delay. Let me tell you right that off the cusp. Well, we got the Black Canary of the tournament. Larmical going one-on-one -on -one with FC Agent. And as we've seen with Agent, he's controlling the neutral with Batman. But is he really? Hold on a minute. Poison, Poison Ivy? Ivy? Okay. He's throwing his entire Canary game plan just right out the window. And it looks like we back, fam. So, like I said last night, I also played his Ivy. And I will say his IV definitely, ha he, he goes for the easy confirms. He's not, he's not trying to reinvent the Wii. Oh, never mind. Shenanigans. Forget everything that I thought about, I was about to say. He is sticking with Canary. Going into the Batman matchup. Now at this point, we're going to see how much matchup knowledge Agent has. If he's going to be able to deal with the shenanigans and the mix and the 50-50s, the overheads, the lows and the cross-ups. Oh, just like that, changing his trajectory with Canary Drop, background box, charging that back that back three. Does delayed handspring, goes for the cross-up, gets the overhead, cross-up, back three. And here we go into some real damage. And just like that, we might see a whole life bar taken with the low. Larmical is definitely on point right now, showing that the mix is real, cross-up, gets rid of the bats. Interactable is in play. And just using that canary drop to just ever so slightly change his trajectory. But here we go. A chance to open up with that jump too. Back 2-3 in the corner with a bat out. Gets the plus frames. Back one staggers. Gets the jump into. And just like that, we might, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good air tech out. And just like that, Agent is just saying he has to clash. He's fully aware of the situation. That is happening right now. He can't take too much more damage. Otherwise, the life deficit will be too much to overcome. Even with plus frames. Even with good bat and trait management. Trying to use those batarangs to keep Canary locked down. But as you all know, Canary with the handspring comes right in there. Underneath EX upward batarang. Agent out here spending Bardem to meter. Not getting any dividends. We're talking about 500 damage almost here. Goes for the cross up. Gets the overhead. Gets the cross up. Waits for the air tech, gets another cross up, and uses the interactable to get in. But here it comes, jump in two, plus frames, back one overhead. Now, with Batman, this is genuinely a doable thing, but you have to be so perfect. And you can't, <laughs> you can't let meter burn roll psych you out, try to go into the air. Especially not when that trait is locked and loaded, ready to go. Coming out here with that capture state. Even if he would have had enough health to live, it would have knocked him down into the crumple. And then, bada boom, bada bing. It had been too sick. But Agent, we're going to see if he's going to be able to go. Think about it. Calm himself down. Because, you know, them 50-50s, that movement, that ability to traverse the stage, that ability to maneuver everywhere, ins and outs, being able to juke projectiles, change trajectory. It's something that a lot of people, when they play against a canary, these things they're not thinking about. They're thinking about how am I going to do my game plan and not even thinking about the ways that, that that canary drop can just circumvent the entire way that the normal person would go about attacking the neutral. Like I said, I've played both of these guys before, and I know the agent is always down to adapt. So let's see what he's got in the gas tank. Begin. Oh, back two three. Here we go, throwing them projectiles. At this point, it seems like he's just trying to play all keep away. Doesn't want to deal with anything. And as soon as I say that, commentator's curse comes in there. Upward batarang gets a full combo. Choosing his spots a little bit more carefully now. Trying to change his trajectory with float. Oh, goes right in. Hits the trait, but didn't believe in his hit confirmed. Gets the overhead. Here we go, into the knockdown state, throwing projectiles, getting the capture with grapple, and just like that, but he didn't close it out. And you know what this could mean. Back three, not like this, ladies and gentlemen. Just when you thought Agent was going to have a good grasp, he gets crossed up. And right there, Lamarckle could have definitely 100% taken this, got the life lead, but he did not spend a meter when that canary drop hit. 
Not sure why, but here we go. Gets the cross up and doesn't believe. Just not let, just not willing to just let it rip. Just does wake up Canary Scream. Spends the bar, closes it out. Larmickle has no meter. Batman is sitting on two bars and a life lead. Bats are out. We're going to have to see if Canary is going to be able to uh, play patiently enough or build enough meter to in order to establish some sort of dominance or get some sort of momentum going in their way. Me personally, I would like to see... Oh my... You saw it like it whiffed, but then like it just like captured. It just like attached onto this man. I'll raise the pitch. But all right. Spending one bar meter, getting a little bit of health back, having two bars at his disposal for these plus frames, conversions, and all types of things that Batmans are going to be doing. Rolls right underneath, baits the parry, gets the cross up, doesn't have any meter to get any launcher out of it. As you can see, Lamar, he's spending most of his meter just trying to roll in, but this is going to do it. Goes for the meter burn, trait, and holds him in place, catches him with that battering. And just like that, Agent, he's adapting. He's not allowing himself to be opened up with the Okie Doke mix ups anymore. He's definitely going to make the Canary earn it. Black Canary. Batman. All right, see everybody sticking with their characters. So, I mean, at this point, if we're just going to be straight up honest, I do think that the adjustment that needs to be made is that Larmacle has to be playing a little bit more patient. As you can see, he's trying to rush in there at the expense of his own meter. And then when he actually gets in, he doesn't have any meter to actually have any confirms off of to get his damage. Now, I know it's tempting to just run in there, but you don't want to take any unnecessary chip or unnecessary hits like that right there, trying to handspring through. And once you get caught moving forward you get opened up and whoa that was a weird hitbox right there but agent having just enough time to be able to block there goes the there goes <laughs> there goes the sparkly jazz hands gets the low cross up background bounce now as, as we've seen so far this tournament the only person really putting full utility into air escapes right now is agent but just like that gets caught anyway agent has spent a total of four bars just to get out of these combos but has been getting mixed right back into them here we go. Back two into jump two. Here we go. Into the corner. Probably going to go for back two, three. Almost had the chip. Canary drop. Ambiguous in the air off the interactable. Very tough to deal with. But a jump in two trade is definitely going to make it. So your boy Agent gets a little bit of a breather. But he's in the corner now. Able to get that side switch. Now at this point, we're probably going to see him back away. Not want to deal with it. But there goes Canary Drop. Ambiguous cross up again. Unclashable damage. Remember, back threes in this game and forward threes are both unclashable. Catches him with a forward three of his own. Now, as you can see, in this match, Canary has had a pretty decent meter advantage. He's using the flip in order to build meter during times where Agent isn't going to have enough time to actually use a projectile. And speaking of projectiles... Canary stuffing all the nonsense. Canary taking a 2-1 lead. Larmacle is definitely showing that, you know, he's willing to adapt too. Both these players are learning what their strengths are, how to cover their weaknesses, and are definitely trying to shut each other down and pretty much know what they're going for. But the ambiguousness of the Canary drop and just how it changes your orientation in the air, and especially when your characters in this game don't automatically turn around as soon as they get crossed over... Makes it very, very, very... Black Wait, canary. hold on a minute. What? First... Black canary. All right, anyway, back to the real match. Yo, he left! You bum. Black canary. The bum left! Anyways. <clears throat> we're gonna pretend like that never happened. We're gonna edit that out. It's gonna be like its own, like, side video, whatever. Anyway, we're going here to game four. Hopefully, Agent got some time to see how them combos work from a third-person perspective. <laughs> Being able to be like, hmm, I see. But he's picking Red Hood. So he's going to have parries on deck. He's going to have projectiles. And he's ready to go. Begin. 
So WWE style run ins aside. Speaking of, this man tried to open up parry, thought headbutt was coming, but here we go into the low. And it just whiffed? Got him trading pokes. Oh, he is parry. He saw the overhead was probably coming. Got a parry, got the mine out. Now, this is a completely different game plan for both characters right here. Could have had a punish right there, but opted to go for trait. Definitely trying to put more distance and real estate in between them. But there goes that meter burn roll down two into a conversion. Might be able to get a background bounce here as well. Goes for it. Back three. Gets grabbed. As I said, most of the meter that Agent has spent during his matches on stream so far have been air teching out of combos. But the main problem and issue with that has been he normally falls right back in to the combo. Or he gets clipped on the way down, or he finds himself in another disadvantageous situation. But as of right now, he's definitely going to want to push the right button. Like, he could have had a punish right there. But there you go. He cleans it up. And we're just about even on life. Now, at this point, Larmickle's up 2-1, so he is on match point right now. Oh, catches him. Almost had a confirm. Just a little bit late on the canary drop. Here we go. Jails. Tries to go for the hard to blockable, but does not actually get it. For those of you who don't know, hard, hard to blockable is when you use an overhead attack while there's a low trap or something on the ground. You have to block overhead and low in the correct order. But there goes that canary drop. Unclashable damage, but he drops it. Catches him with the low canary drop after the jump in, catching the fallback. And Larmickle's Larmickle putting in that work. That man fought the hidden boss and keeps on trekking into the bracket. All right. Um, Larmickle, go ahead and stay. Next up, we got... 